Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How's everybody doing? I am having an okay day, <laughs> much better than last week. I have been in pain for a solid week, but it's it's slowly getting better. I went to my chiropractor this morning and it helped, of course it always does, but we're not where I wanna be yet. So I'm still dealing with a lot of pain throughout the week and I just spent the last 20 minutes trying to find a parking spot at my second doctor's office today. So I had the chiropractor at 10 a.m. Now I have my uh, 26 week appointment, OB, whatever. It took forever, thank goodness that I was here early because I was able to eat in the car and now I'm getting ready to go in. But had I been in a bad mood or pain this morning, it would not have gone well. So I found a spot finally. I just wanted to say hi. I also wanted to say thank you so much for all the love and support and all the messages on our baby's name. If you haven't seen the name announcement, I will put the link right here or here. I don't remember where it goes, but I'll put the link up somewhere <laughs> and you can watch it. If you haven't watched it, I'm about to spoil it, so either skip or go watch it. <laughs> but I'm so glad you guys like the name Axel. We are stoked. We're so excited and... It's cool because now I don't have to edit Carter saying his name all the time. He's like, this is for baby Axel, baby Axel this, baby Axel that, like all the time. So it's fun and I can't believe he is getting so big. I feel him kick and move all day long, which is great. But yeah, let's see how everything's going, how my belly's doing, like measurements, how the baby's doing. I don't think I'll see him today. I don't think it's an ultrasound today. I think it's in a couple more weeks. But next week I start my third trimester and that's when things get kind of serious. And I'm worried because things are already serious for me in the sense of like dealing with sciatica. Like it's so crazy. So I'm nervous that I'm gonna be in a lot of pain for my third trimester, hoping that's not the case. But mentally preparing myself for that if that's the case. for the blood work that I need to do in two weeks and that's for the diabetes thing, the liquid that you have to take and see how your blood, your body reacts to it. That's pretty gross, but I'll be doing that in two weeks. Crazy, crazy. It's happening so fast. <laughs> that's awesome. 148, it's beautiful. Oh, that's nice, strong, and regular. <laughs> oh, beautiful, beautiful. Both of my doctor's appointments went really well. I mentioned about the chiropractor this morning. That was really good. So far, so good. I feel awesome. And then my next appointment, my 26-week OBGYN was really good. Very general, as I predicted. Um, they just listened to the heartbeat, checked the position of the baby, asked me how I was feeling. We talked about the sciatica. My doctor pretty much told me, you just have to deal with it until you deliver. But he did mention that the chiropractor is gonna be helping ice it, put heat on it, whatever feels good, sleep however you feel comfortable, kind of hang in there. And now I have to go every two weeks. So starting next week, I have my glucose test. They're gonna do it next week. And then from there, every two weeks, I go and check the baby. Crazy. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. We've made it this far, like so fast. If I remember correctly, we do every two weeks for two months. Then it's every week when you're in that 36 week mark, I think. Yeah. So, so far so good. As you can tell, I'm out of breath all the time. After my appointment, the doctor was like, hey, have you registered at the hospital? And I was like, I did online. I did all the paperwork. I still have to come in and like figure it out. He's like, just go downstairs to the back office and like he showed me how to like go. I did that, signed everything, we're ready to go. They're like, when your water breaks or when you have contractions, here's where you park, 
here's where you go, triage, whatever, they showed me everything. So we're doing it, it's all good to go. I just have to pretty much go to my appointments from now until then and then it's baby time. I will film in a little bit. I'm gonna go out to dinner with Carter and Danny and I will take you guys with me. I was craving crawfish. Change of plans, Danny and I were gonna come here and eat here but one is about to rain and two, he got home from work, he was really tired so I decided to come pick up the food instead and then I'll take it home. But this place is really cool. Cause they have all the food trucks everywhere, just a bunch of different things and my food is ready. I was saying, we keep trying to come here and it always rains. So <laughs> last time we were here, we sat down and just had to run home and we haven't been able to do it ever since. So it's okay. Let's go home. I'm gonna show this before I eat it all. There you go, Carter, what are you eating? Pancakes. Nice. <laughs> all right, let's do it. My nose is runny <laughs> from how spicy that was. Did you like the food? It was so good. We totally crushed it. We ate everything. I do have something to say to my husband, which is never tell a pregnant lady, are you gonna eat all of that? Cause I did. He got full and stopped eating halfway. That is and such an exaggerated way bucket. of what happened. I was like, <laughs> wow, we might've gotten too much because that's a lot in there. Like you're not gonna eat that. And I was like, oh, how dare you? In my head, I was like, watch me. I'm gonna eat all of that. You crushed it. I'm proud of you. I was still hungry when he was like, I think I'm full. I was like, <laughs> better for me, more for me. I also don't think I eat the whole thing. Like, I probably don't get a lot of the meat that I should get. But we'll work on that. I'm gonna end it. I'm gonna edit and watch a movie. Mm. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I will see you soon.